Okay, um, I'm here again with your second programming with program tutorial. This tutorial, we're going to talk about concatenating strings. Don't worry about what that means. It's really just um, how to put add strings together. Like, let's say you have one string, and it's um, hello, my name is, and you have another, and it's um, Bob. So if you put print hello, my name is plus Bob, then it will put hello, my name is Bob. But also, instead of doing that, we're also going to be talking about how to make variables. You really shouldn't um, worry about that a lot because it's a very difficult subject and um, we're not going to get into that too much until um, later videos. So right now we're just going to start off with a little variable and it's going to be called a string. So to create a variable you want to put the keyword define. Any keywords pop up in blue like method main. And define tells the computer that there's going to be a variable that we're defining. So next comes the name of your variable. And you can name this whatever you want, it, anything really. I'm just going to name mine A. And now next you want to put as, that tells the computer that one of these items is going to be. And don't worry about all of these because it can be very, um, um, very, very um, hard to understand. So I'm going to use a word I've used before and it's going to be a string. So string is S-T-R-I-N-G. And like I said before, a string is a line of um, characteristics put together. So um, a characteristic is basically just a letter, so it's basically just a sentence. And there's two ways to tell what the value of A is. Well, first, we know the value of A is a string, but I mean, what type of string? Like, is it hi, is it hello, is it bye, is it Joe, any kind of thing. So one way to do it is a really fast way. You just put equals right here and two quotes. That tells the computer that anything inside here is a string. So inside those two quotes, you can tell the computer what the value of A is. I'm going to put, um, hello, my name is. And also, another thing about computers is that they're very stupid. They only do what they're told to do. So, if you try to concatenate hello, my name is with Bob, it would put hello, my name is Bob, instead of is space Bob. So you don't put a space after it is. Then, Another way to do it is doing basically the same thing, just on a line below. A equals, and that's saying A right here, the A string is going to equal this value. And since we already defined it, I'm not going to do it again. So we want to define a second variable too. Define. We'll name this one B, and then A string, same thing. And then I'm going to use a shortcut, so we're going to put Bob, capitalize it. Okay, now that we defined our two variables, we can start getting to the real action. To concatenate strings, there's two ways to do it. First, using the print statement that I was telling you about, and the second one is using the console write line statement. Um, in order to do with the print one, you want to type out the same line of code. Oh, it's my stupid cursor. Then print. But instead of quotes, you don't want quotes because that's telling the value of print right here. We already have the values listed though. So we want to put a, which is variable a, and a equals a string, and the value of the string is how long my name is. Space. So a plus, and the plus sign is very important, the plus sign is what concatenates it, then B. Once we did that, you can run the program and see what it does. It should put, hello, my name is Bob, and that concatenates the two strings. The other way to do it is using console write line. A 
again, we don't want quotes because we already have list, listed the values. So basically the same thing, A plus B. And we'll do the same thing for you. There you go. Hello, my name is Bob. And there you have it. That's how you concatenate strings. See you next time when we're going to be talking about numbers.